Good morning, everyone. If you're wondering, wow, her face looks really red and puffy. It's because it is. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but this happens like once or twice a year where I wake up always around this time of the year. It's so weird. And my face is extremely itchy, red, and my eyes are really puffy. And it's so uncomfortable. I don't know if it's a product that I use. I don't know what's going on, but it is excruciatingly itchy but we have things to do today i'm going to get my hair extensions retaped before grease i have my um hair extensions extra hair extensions in there and i'm going to see coco um she's who does my hair here in montreal in toronto it's erin the hair salon's downtown so I gotta head out. It takes me like 45 minutes to get there because I live so far. I had a really cute outfit planned today, but I woke up feeling like absolute garbage. So I'm just wearing my Lululemon Align um, t-shirt, Align shorts, the best biker shorts, a TNA, big oversized boyfriend hoodie. Forgot to mention, I also have my period. It's not a fun day. Not a fun day for me, but we're gonna still have a great day. It's gonna be a productive day. It's gonna be a good day, right? I feel like if you just tell yourself that, you can speak it into existence. So we just finished up with our hair. I got my extensions redone. Nikki got her nanoplastia treatment, which is basically like a keratin treatment, but just better for your hair, safer. Like a protein treatment. A protein treatment. So now, since it's such a nice day and we're already downtown, we're gonna go shop around a little. Maybe get like a coffee. I don't know, we'll see. We're gonna go to Holtz because Nikki, I wanna buy a pair of sunglasses perhaps. Uh. Yeah, it's really cute. My head's too big. I almost like feel like they need to be chunkier or less chunky. They're like a weird middle chunkiness, you know? Or am I crazy? I definitely think they're chunky like a dad shoe, but you're just used to those huge Princess Polly shoes. Oh, I love if you don't love them, don't get them. But I think they're cute. I don't love them. I don't want to alarm you, but they have the shoes in the in the pattern of the bag that I'm obsessed with. We came to Parma Cafe and we got lemonades and two sandwiches. Hey guys, okay, so I just got home four hours ago, so I don't know why I said that, but I got home, I went and pick up, picked up a package at the mailbox because I'm starting this new series on my Instagram where I test out a new small business every week. So I got my package in, filmed a reel, um, and then I also saw that I got in this package from Charlotte Tilbury. I feel like they're dropping new things every day. I feel like they used to drop like one new thing every year, and now they drop new things every day. Their new cream bronzer which I actually haven't even swatched yet. They sent this to me. Feels very nice and creamy. Let's see. Ooh, nice. Kind of feel like definitely feels like a texture I would like. I got the color medium too. And then they also have a sunscreen. Um, so now it's almost 9 p.m. And honestly, I'm not very hungry. We did eat around 4 so I don't know, I don't think I'm going to eat anything. Nothing looks appealing. I do have this midday square, which I don't love, but I should eat it because it's gonna go bad. And then I think I'm gonna make a coffee because I have a lot to do, I have a lot to do. I have to edit two videos. I still wanna do a quick 30 minute workout. I think I'm gonna do that in between editing the two videos. I need to go and get some more fruit. That's one thing I never have in my house is just fruit. I do have a red bell pepper I can cut up and eat, but 
Do I even want that? No, I don't want to eat a red bell pepper. If you have extensions, you can relate, but getting your extensions retaped is the best feeling in the world when they're all nice and tight um, to your head. I get them retaped every six to eight weeks. So I still have to do my nails before I leave for my vacation. I'm actually getting a spray tan because I'm not messing around. Everyone, I hope my camera's okay. I literally just like threw it across the room accidentally. I'm getting ready to go out. Clearly I didn't do my hair today, but um, we're going, my sister Nikki and I are running around doing some last minute errands before our trip. I have to get my international driver's license. I have to go to the bank. That's pretty much it. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but leaving on a trip is so stressful. I wanted to vlog, you know, in case you guys can relate or are going on vacation. I'm not the kind of person that like the night before can pack for a trip. Like I literally have to prepare the entire week before. Let me know in the comments if you're like that or if you're like, no, I literally pack right before I go on the trip. This is what I'm wearing today. This is a little set from Aritzia. It is the um, Cozy Boyfriend shorts, the longer version. So I think like the normal shorts go to here, but these are like the longer oversized versions, which I like because it gives like a more oversized feel. They were a little bit longer, but after I washed them, I kind of rolled and I like that look. I didn't cut these myself. I know I always cut things myself. I didn't cut these myself. And then this is the matching bra. I think this is called Heather Space Gray. And then I just have this um, big over shirt thrown on top because it's surprisingly not that hot in Montreal. And you know when you're in the mall and you're in restaurants, it can get a little chilly with the AC. So I just threw this shirt on top. It's from Nasty Gal. And then for shoes, I'm wearing, I haven't worn these in the longest time. They are the Air Force One platforms and I'm going to just carry my classic bag that I always carry and my new Prada sunnies. I never thought I would own a pair of sunglasses like this and I still don't know if I love them really but alas here we are here we are so that's what I'm wearing today I'm gonna head out and meet Nikki also I got the bigger weekender bag because one of Nikki's friends traveled to Montreal for the weekend and she brought the bigger weekender bag as a carry-on so I got the bigger weekender bag Nikki actually ordered it for both of us and um, I'm gonna bring that instead so I think the combination of a big weekender bag from Bayes if you guys haven't seen my pack with me video you definitely should I packed a hundred outfits in a carry-on I think the combination of the big weekender bag and a rolly carry-on is as big as a full-size luggage right but you just don't have to like deal with checking a bag and I heard a lot of people uh, it's all over the internet actually everywhere is losing their luggage you have to wait like three hours at the airport for your luggage so my sister was debating whether or not to bring a luggage and I was like no we are not bringing a luggage for I think we're in Greece for 10 days I'm gonna show you guys the bigger weekender bag because I actually got a lot of questions about the small versus the large let's head out we're gonna go to the mall I'm gonna help my sister pick out some stuff for vacation I love shopping when it's not my money <laughs> I get like the satisfaction of finding the pieces and shopping but I don't have to spend my money we're at Tommy we got two iced lattes with oat milk and sugar-free vanilla that's new their sugar-free vanilla they really? don't have that their iced coffee is so good this is my avocado toast i got an egg on the side and nikki got a chicken sandwich i didn't even know this was in the mall near me but it is so pretty okay so i'm deciding on a hat the simon has such cute accessories i like this green one i have a kelly green bathing suit so i wanted to have a full green moment I'm just debating between the, this black one, which I think there's different sizes because this one fits like nicely, and then this one gives me a headache. The I black, the black is though. nicer. Yeah. The black, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna get the black, and look how cute these black, all these bags are. Look at this. I know. It's heavy though. That is so. I know. Cute. This one reminds me of you too. Oh, look at the little, like, the white one. That's, I kind of like this. Oh. I like those. I like those, too. But in this color or the black? I like that. They, they're they kind of chunky. These are such a fun little flip-flop, but oh my god. This is so uncomfortable. I think it's like a little t-shirt. It's so cute. I love, I love a good orange. Really? Because you hate my water bottle. Don't be spreading lies on my face. Alicia, is this the color of my water bottle? Yeah. 
And no. and does she hate yeah, it? She hates it. No. She it. It's not the same. That's the cut. That's it's my water bottle, and that's the bathing suit. It's not the same. <laughs> Wasn't supposed to shop today. And I'm carrying your Zara bag. I just got back in the car. This no buy is going really well for me. The stuff was so cute, I couldn't pass it up. At Airy, the linen dresses, the shoes. I'm gonna show you guys everything as soon as I get home, obviously. Had I known there was a picture, I would have put some makeup on. If you're going to Greece and you're planning on driving, you need an international license. Just thought I would let you guys know that. So now I'm gonna head home. It's starting to rain. It's already almost 4 p.m. and I have to get my thumbnail and everything ready for my video tonight. And I also wanna show you guys everything I bought and try it all on. Packing is gonna be pretty easy because I'm gonna bring all the new stuff I got and I already basically have my outfits planned. A little bit different from what I did in my pack with me. I think I'm gonna pack more dresses, less less pants and stuff because I don't need that many outfits. I surprisingly packed too many outfits. Even when I went to Chicago, I packed too many outfits. I, I literally wore not even a quarter of what I brought. So I'm gonna go through it. I got each of them had such good things. Anyways, you guys are gonna see. But I'm so parched. I need a drink, but there's nowhere to get a drink. I guess I can last. I can last until I get home. I just got home, had a little snack, and I thought I would show you guys what I picked up from the mall today. Yes, I started this video by saying I'm on a no-buy. The things that I bought today, I felt were extremely necessary. I feel like that about everything I buy, and that's why I have a shopping addiction. You don't need to tell me. I'm already very well aware that I have a shopping problem. When I'm back from Greece, I'm planning to do a pop-up in Montreal. I think it's just gonna be the easiest. I wanna sell CNC there. I wanna meet you guys, and I'm going to sell literally all of my clothes. I have so much stuff, like literally so much stuff I wanna sell. Not this, I'm not selling this. I have a lot of stuff I wanna sell. It just, I think it's gonna be the easiest, and then whatever I don't sell, I can, you know, post online. I think it's just, I wanna meet you guys. I think after COVID and everything, it'll be fun. No space in Montreal, and we can just all have some fun, and you can shop my clothes, and yeah. But the stuff I got, I was so impressed with Simon's. So there's a new Simon's at the mall near me, which I never actually shop at, so I've never shopped there really before, but I follow this I'm actually obsessed with this girl on Instagram, Castellanial. She actually lives in Quebec as well. And she was wearing the cutest bikinis and she said they were from Simon's. And so you better believe I rushed my butt over there and picked up some of these bathing suits and tried them on. And Simon's had so much cute stuff. I'm definitely gonna be shopping there more. Some of their clothing were a little bit questionable, but they definitely had some cute stuff mixed in. So I started with their accessories. As you guys saw in the vlog, they had the cutest, Vacation accessories. I'm not the biggest bucket hat person if I'm being honest. I also had it in nude and a few other colors, but I love this black one. It reminded me of the straw or the rattan Fendi bucket hat that I tried on the other day, but this one was a fraction of the cost, 40 bucks. Still pretty pricey for a bucket hat, but it's so cute. I just picture myself with a black bikini on the beach. Then I picked up these. They're like Yeezy slide dupes. They were $39. I got a size 37. I think they're made small. They I don't know how they get away with selling these because they literally look exactly like identical to Yeezys. I don't know if I'm gonna bring these, but they're just good to have, good to throw on, and they're way more comfortable than the ones I ordered from Amazon. The one I ordered from Amazon are honestly almost un unwearable. Then I picked up two pairs of shoes, and you guys, I'm a hypocrite. I'm the first to say I'm a hypocrite. I, in my shoe video where I talked all about the shoe trends for the summer, I talked about how I would never buy a pair of fisherman sandals. And you know what? I've come to realize I should just never say never because it appears that if I see something enough times on Instagram, I'm gonna end up buying it. So I got these fisherman sandals, but they're so cute. Unlike other fisherman sandals, I've seen, I love the square toe. They made your foot just look like so cute and dainty and small, but they weren't overly chunky. I love the combination of this like beigey white creamy color with the black. They also had black on black, but I thought this one just made it a little bit less intense, a little bit less harsh on your foot. Don't know how I'm gonna style these. Don't know how I'm gonna wear them. 
but I knew I had to have them and they were incredibly comfortable and then oh my gosh you guys these new balances so new balances are some of my favorite running shoes and the these were men's I don't even know what style this is um, but I fell in love with them. I have two pairs of New Balances like this. They make your foot like, like so thin and long. People probably don't want their feet to look long, but I have a size six foot, so it's okay if my foot looks a little bit long. It has this like beige chunky sole here. It has this black suede, gray, this like cream part. I just thought they were so cool. I like them way more than the other very popular style of New Balance that is really chunky. The issue I find with the like dad New Balances is that they're kind of awkward. They're not chunky enough to really be a chunky shoe, but they're not sleek like these shoes. I don't actually find them that flattering. I think Simon's has the best they're not overly expensive bikinis. They're pretty affordable. It's weird with bathing suits. Some are obscenely expensive like my Hunza G bikinis which are over $200 a piece they're insanely expensive and then there's like this like middle range and i feel like simon's is a middle range where each piece is or like white fox's middle range where each piece is like 30 to 60 dollars still expensive but the quality is still really good and then if you want super affordable bikinis you can shop at shein where they're it's like 12 to 20 dollars for a set with that it's hit or miss but with simon's it was pretty fairly priced and the quality was really good they're super comfortable and really flattering so Let's get in to the ones I got. Okay, so I'll start with the ones I actually went for. They look like this. I didn't think this was going to be flattering because I actually don't love high-waisted bikinis on my body, but something about how this fits and sits is just super flattering. I did get a size medium. I realize in bottoms, because I'm squishy, like my skin is just squishy. I'm not a nice and firm girly totally normal but i have to pick and choose the bathing suits especially so that it doesn't dig into my skin and i realize that if i size up in the bottoms it just is more flattering but the issue with that is sometimes it just gets diapery on the bottom but this is a good bathing suit it covers like my little problem area my lower belly but still is like super cute sexy and doesn't give you uh, a diaper bum so that's cute. And then I picked up this top, which I actually picked up in a size large because it was, I'm not trying to have my nipples fly out, you know? So comfortable again, but I think this is a color I need to wear when I'm fake tan because right now it's just not looking the cutest. I did also pick up it in brown because brown is my favorite color on the planet. Again, same bottoms. They had different style bottoms if those aren't your cup of tea. And these are available online, by the way. But it's like a t-shirt, a t-shirt bikini top. This would look so cute, like with a pair of shorts also. You can wear it to the beach. You don't even need to throw a top on. Not the most supportive. Not sure how the tan lines are gonna go with that though. So this is the other bikini. This is definitely one of the company's bikinis I own. This top, like I said, doesn't offer much support. I picked up one last bathing suit, which is in this really pretty orange color. This one right here, again with this t-shirt. This one is more flattering though for sure than the other one. And the color is just magical. And then I picked up a different top for when I don't feel like wearing a t-shirt again. And then the bottoms are super cute. Again, they go a little bit higher waisted, but still so flattering. They had it in a bunch of colors also, but recently, like, I'm good for bikinis. I bought a lot. I feel like last year I had one bikini I wore that I bought when I was eight, literally 18 years old, and it's all I wore. So... I'm all set for bikinis. Okay, so this is the orange bikini with the little t-shirt top. The bottoms are so nice. I'm obsessed with this little tie detail. It matches the little tie between the boobs. So then I went to Zara. I honestly haven't ordered from Zara in a really long time. <laughs> they were having their sale. It was total chaos. If I had more time, I definitely would have looked through their sale, but I just went straight to their new collection. But the first thing I picked up is this really cute linen dress. I actually really wanted a dress exactly like this. All right, so this is a linen dress. It's a little bit longer than I would have liked it to be, so I'm a little bit conflicted about it. I don't know, it's a cute dress, especially for like a pool cover-up, but I just don't know if I love it, you know? I think it would need to be shorter, but maybe if I put a belt on? But then again, it's like see-through. I can't wear it 
out. I'm not too sure about this one. And then I bought this little linen over shirt, which is would be so cute with a pair of linen shorts or white jean shorts or a skirt or with a bikini. I have to figure out when and where I'm going to wear this because it is a little bit see-through, but it's the perfect little linen shirt. You're gonna be so shocked by this next dress. It has a pattern. She has a pattern. And if you just see it like this, it's not much, but it has a belt. And I pictured with a pair of slides for a really casual, easy outfit. I'm so happy I went against Nikki who told me not to get this dress because I'm obsessed with it. I just picture myself with a black, um, with my black slides for a very like cute, but casual dinner for nighttime. Yes, I'm obsessed with this. So I got two perfumes for $29. They came in a set. I really only liked one. They didn't have a sample of the other one, but they came in a set of two. And look how cute this bottle is. Let's smell it. Maybe I was in a trance. I tend to get in a trance when I go to Zara. All my like self-control goes out the window. No, it smells really good. No, this smells amazing. I am obsessed, and I'm obsessed with the bottle. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I can't talk about like the staying power. I have no idea. Actually, the one that smells like Baccarat Rouge from Zara, I've been wearing it instead of my Baccarat Rouge. Just as many compliments on it, and it lasts all day. Okay, this is the second one that it came with, Wonder Rose. Well, now all I could smell is the other one. Ooh, oh. It smells like something that like a toddler would wear. Not my favorite, but you know what? For 29 bucks for two, I'm obsessed with this one. It smells so good. So then I went to H&M and H&M was just, I could have bought the whole store. I could have bought the whole store. Uh, that's where I exercise the most self-control. These are the jeans I found. They feel and they look like they would be a Goldie jeans. I'm not even kidding. They just look exactly like a Goldie jeans and they were 30, $39. I got a size four. For me, the thing that makes a pair of jeans look super either expensive or not expensive, whether they are at $200 or $20 is the wash. And this had a really nice wash on it. I don't know if you can see. They are the wide high waist, full length comfort stretch jean. They're definitely long, but they felt really comfortable. I'm not sure if I find them too high waisted. I like high waisted, but this, I think might be a little bit too high waisted, which is such a bummer because they're so comfortable. So I think tomorrow I'm gonna to be heading back to H&M to return these jeans because they are so high waisted, which really sucks. And then I picked up this dress I want, this shirt I wanna wear as a dress. I'm not sure if it is a dress, but it's definitely long enough to wear as a dress. I would definitely just wear this to the beach because you can, it's not thick enough, you know, you would see through it. I wanted one that was long enough to wear by itself. So this one is really long. I have one like this in blue. This is an oversized white shirt. Like I said, very see-through, you can see it under, but just to throw on to go to the beach. It goes longer in the back. Very nice and lightweight, so you're not gonna die of heat if it's really hot also. This little set I got, they only had a size six in the skirt, so I'm really hoping that it fits because it is such a nice pattern. It's linen, but it looks like marbly and zebra-y. And then it has a matching top that ties that would even look really cute with a black bodysuit. So happy I actually went with this and bought it even though it's a size six because it fits perfectly. It fits exactly how I would want it to fit. The top is so cute. I wish the sleeves were a little bit shorter. Maybe I can like roll them up a little bit. Yeah, I think that's cuter. Okay, wait, I think it's cuter with the sleeves off the shoulder. What do you think? Oh my God, then I went to Aerie and I got the cutest dresses. Please run, don't walk, run to Aerie. They had the cutest bathing suits, the cutest skirt. It's gonna be easiest to pack in a carry-on and they're just so cute. So I got these two dresses. They're both linen dresses, thick enough where you don't have to worry about them being see-through. I'll show you guys them on because this is not doing any justice, but it has cutouts on either side and it's just a little white linen dress. And then I also got it in this really stunning, stunning, stunning forest green color. Okay, and this is the white linen dress. The green one looks exactly the same. I was debating between the small and the extra small and I went with the small. So I'm actually not even mad that I'm gonna be returning that white linen dress from Zara because 
I have this white linen dress and I like it a lot better. So this dress was definitely made for Greece. All right, so that is it for the try on portion of today's video. I'm a little bit bummed up because a few of the things I was most excited for just didn't work out, but that's okay. I can't seem to find my bill for H&M, so hopefully it's in the car because I want to go return that stuff tomorrow. Okay, anyways, I'm going to spend at least like the next hour getting my thumbnails ready for the next two videos. Making the thumbnails is my least favorite part of doing a video. I hate it. I hate it so much. So it is 8.15. I ate dinner. It was delish. For dinner tonight, I'm just having something really simple. Chicken breast, breaded chicken breast, stuffed with cheese and broccoli and some sauteed kale. I'm trying to see if kale hurts my stomach when it's cooked. I know it hurts my stomach when it's raw, but I love kale, so I'm gonna see if cooking it changes anything. Happy to report my stomach feels top notch. Um, I think my seed probiotics so are helping i don't know you guys i never had digestion issues in the past not that i have digestion issues i just am bloated all the time and bloating makes me very unhappy and i'm trying to figure out why i have a theory i have a hunch i don't even want to talk about it because my theory is that it's all the cheese i eat Mm -mm. I can't even think about I will be bloated for the rest of my life because I will not cut out dairy. Pretty much cut out all dairy except my cheese and I can't not eat it. But I made my thumbnails. I get asked occasionally, once, at, once in a blue moon, I get asked how I make my thumbnails. If it's interesting to you at all, I use just Photoshop on my computer. But really, I use Canva for everything. This is not an ad. This is literally just my life and soul and everything is on this even for cnc pictures like okay so it has the best background remover so for example here we have like a picture of a clip right ugly Blech. so then you go into background remover and it literally removes the background and then you can add it into any background that you want so let's say you want it it takes a sec but takes the background out, right? And then I always like adding a little bit of a shadow because if not, it just looks like you took the background out and you can edit the shadow. Okay, so here is the mini weekender bag and the regular size weekender bag. I wanted to show you guys the size comparison. So it is a lot bigger, I have to say. It is a lot bigger. I'm very excited because it means I can fit a lot more <laughs> stuff um but one thing i have to say though one warning okay is that i noticed when i traveled with my mini weekender that it got really heavy i can only imagine how heavy the regular weekender bag is going to be i wouldn't necessarily recommend it if you're not also going to be bringing a rolly bag because it really doesn't matter to me how heavy it gets it literally just rolls around and it's perfectly easy it doesn't fall off because it attaches to the actual like carry on so it really doesn't make a difference and these wheels are so smooth i don't know i just wanted to show you guys the size comparison because when i was looking for a size comparison online i couldn't find any okay i'm here with nicole looking like a pale ghost i scrubbed off my tan three times to make sure my skin was extra smooth did you do a nice exfoliation did you shave so we're going to see what's her name on instagram lb get bronze by lb i'll let you guys know what I think. So dark! I'm this is my favorite thing because that was so easy and the color looks so good. Do I look over here? I look in the screen, but you can look Wait, it's crooked. Is it brighter? I don't know, you tell me. You're the expert. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to my YouTube channel and if you're new, welcome. <laughs> and today, we're talking about Princess Polly. Mm-hmm. We have some Princess Polly in here. You can help me decide on what dresses to bring because there's too many. Okay, these are pants. These are for the beach. These are from Lulu's. I just posted a video. There's not much to say about that. And they're non-negotiable, so they're coming. Non-negotiable. Got it. This is a black skims dress. What's that face? <laughs> What's that face? Wait, I should move it back so they can see me and you. Oh, yeah. Hey, that's okay. It's cute. Did you see my Instagram story? Uh, yeah, of course. Do you not like the zebra dress? No, it's okay, it's cute. Can I show you a picture of me in it? Okay. So I think I might change your mind. Okay, change my mind. It's cute. You look better on. I approve. 
It doesn't do much just like this. But no, it doesn't you know. do much at all. Okay, here we have. Uh, okay, but this one. This is my grandmother's uh, <laughs> cooking apron. I'm not even gonna show you this one because it's so cute, and you're not even gonna understand anything about okay, it. Okay, I won't understand anything. Okay, what about this one? It's little white slip dress. But is that for dinner? Is that for the beach? I don't know what that's for. Is it's that, maybe for uh, drinks after, maybe we're going out. I know, that's cute. Ooh, I just got this dress yesterday, actually. Okay, who's it from? Airy. It's a dress and it has little openings on the side. Also got it in green. Oh, okay. That's cute. I don't know if I should bring this skirt. It's a little linen skirt. Why was the Velma? I just don't know if I'm going to wear it. I don't think I'm going to wear it. You don't, <laughs> you're, you're, going for, you're going for 10 days. Okay, so should I bring this? No, you don't need that. How many zebras you got in there? You're going for 10 days. Yeah. How many dresses do you need? You need options. I can't possibly narrow it down anymore. Yes, you can. I can, <laughs> I can help you narrow it down. Okay, so it's the next day. My tan has developed so nicely. I'm so happy with that spray tan. Basically all packed. So I actually went through and took out a lot of stuff from my carry-on. And then I also have this, which looks really packed, but it actually, it actually isn't. But it's always about like what if situations, you know, like what if a snowstorm blows through the island I'm going on? I need a long sleeve shirt. Okay, so I'm actually coming at you from the future. I hope you enjoyed that vlog. I have already been to Greece and I'm back now. And the next video I upload is going to be my vlog from Greece. So I just wanted to, you know, split it up into two parts or else it would be so long. I hope you guys are doing great. I missed you. I haven't posted in like two weeks, which is crazy. I took the first two weeks off of July. So now you can expect back to regular uploads some more hauls. I have a lot of fun videos planned for you guys. Anyways, I'm gonna go. This video's already long enough. Make sure you subscribe for more videos. And if you want more up-to-date updates, follow me on Instagram because I post there every single day. All right, you guys, love you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day or night depending on whenever you watch this. And I'll see you guys in my next video.